Hello, my name is Matthew Hobbs and this is my method. First of all, we understand that 3 is A, minus 4 is B, and minus 15 is C. Therefore, we do A times C, and in this example, it is minus 45. We then do two numbers added together make minus 4, which is our B, and two numbers times together, which equals minus 45. These two numbers are minus 9 and plus 5. We therefore open up the brackets, which is 3x and x. We therefore know that these numbers below are minus 9 and 5. We therefore do 3, 9, minus 9 divided by 3, which is a, equals minus 3. We therefore do 1, 5 divided by 1, which is the coefficient of x on the second bracket, which equals plus 5. And therefore, this works. We now do this example, which involves 5 instead of a 3. We circle the 5 again, which is A, the same again, that is B, and that is C. So we therefore know the AC, which we have explained before, equals minus minus 30. We therefore know that two numbers added together make 13, which is our B, and two numbers times together equals minus 30. The two numbers here will be We therefore know these two numbers are 15 and minus 2. Therefore, we do the same as we did last time and open up the brackets where we put the 5 because we can only make 5 in one separate way and we open up the brackets again and have an x. We therefore know that the, two, the numbers below are minus 2 here and plus 15 here. We therefore do the same again and we work find out that this is minus 2 and this is plus 3 and if you expand this works. We do this because we divide the 5, or the coefficient of the first x, by the 15, which equals 3, and we divide the coefficient of the second x to, with minus, we do that, divided by the coefficient of x, which in this case is 1, and therefore that is the numbers we use, yeah. which makes minus 2 and plus 3. We do exactly the same again for with the 6, with the A, the B, and the C. We therefore do A times C, which equals 12. We do two numbers added together, make our B, which is 7, and times together, make 12. These two numbers are 4 and 3. We therefore open up the brackets and have 6x and x and but however neither 4 nor 3 are divisible by the coefficients of the x's therefore these two numbers do not work and with the this will not work However, 
we can have a 4x and a 3x, which uh, a 2, a 3x and a 2x to make our 6. Therefore, we have the 4, the 4 below there and the 3 below there. That equals plus 1. And then the 3 divided by the 3 equals plus 1. And the 4 divided by the 2 equals plus 2. And therefore, this works. And if you multiply the brackets out, it works. For this one, we have a 12 which are for our A, a minus 16 for our B, and a minus 3 for our C. We do A times C, which equals minus 36, and we do two numbers added together, make our B, which equals minus 16, times together, make our minus 36. These two numbers will be minus 18 and 2. We therefore do the same with 12 and the x. However, because of the previous slide shows, 18 and minus 18 and 2 are not divisible by 12, so 2 divided by 12 and 18 divided by 12 does not work, therefore these numbers do not work. I'll now show that uh, I will now show that f f we will now do 4 x and 3x. However, these numbers also do not work because minus 18 nor 2 are dividable, divisible by 4. Therefore, these numbers do not work once again. However, however, 6x and 2x will work. And therefore, we have our minus 18 below and our 2 below the first one. We therefore do minus 18 divided by 6, which equals minus 3, and the 2 divisible by the 2, which equals plus 1. This therefore works when the brackets are expanded, and this works for all uh, factorizations with whole numbers.